What's up everyone? How are you? Welcome to the new video of 2022 about how you can scrape Instagram data. When I speak about data, I speak about any public information you can receive from Instagram when it comes to followers amount, following, emails, phone number, address, whatever you like. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm guessing that most of you know me from my job videos and my content about a uh, growth hacking and black hat, and this is pretty cool. And Jarvi is a great tool, um, but at the moment we actually don't use Jarvi to scrape data from Instagram. Uh, the reason for that is that Instagram changed a lot um, on their scraping API limits and a lot of things have been changed. And at the moment we are using Jarvi uh, for other um, reasons and for other purpose as a social media growth. Uh, but when we want, when it comes to scrape data, we are using a new tool called Leechron. So in this video, I'm going to make a short review about this tool, how it works, why you should like definitely try that and also for free and what you can get from that and what are the use cases for any social media company or any business in this beautiful world. And yes, so what is little? I'm going to show you um, an inside look um, and how you can use that. Uh, before we start, if you have a business and you need data as emails or phone numbers, where well, you can actually use it for email outreach, WhatsApp outreach, Facebook or Instagram ads. A small disclaimer, I'm not a lawyer, not yet, maybe one day. <laughs> so um, check what, what you're doing, you know, with a lawyer, especially in your like country, uh, different countries, different rules about doing this stuff. So check this out, but definitely it's a use case that you can definitely do. You can also scrape users to send massive amount of DMs for example, on Instagram, like scrape usernames, and you can also scrape users to engage with, okay, like with Jarvi or manually and stuff like that. So let's start with an inside look about Litron. So when you register to Litron, you will go, you are going to get for free 2000 Trons. So it's like kind of like a Tron, it's like the coin and it's like credit in a, in the platform. Okay, and this is like the screen you're going to see. So basically you can see like your contacts over here, and let's go and jump into the find new contacts. Okay, so let's say I'm a business and I need, um, I don't know, um, I need to find some influencers, okay, for my business. And I want to find um, influencers on the fashion niche, for example, okay. So I can make, I can write over here this word, fashion, on the, this kind of the first column. I'm writing fashion and over here I can write any other words that I want to have uh, the users, the ambassadors on their bio as an, in as an fashion influencer. Cool, so let's say fashion, this is, oh, my bad, sorry. Cool, so as you can see over here, I write fashion. This is um, a word that must be on every bio of the user. And the second column is like words as influencer or ambassador. Okay, and if I want, I can even give any names that I want to have on the bio, like girls' names, if I want any girls, or boys' names. But let's say, you now I want only like fashion, and I want influencers worldwide, okay? If I want, I can even say if I want only from New York, I can write like New York City or New York, um, New York and stuff like that. You can play with that. Sorry. Um, and then basically what this tool is going to do, it's going to scrape and find data on Instagram and it's going to make sure on every profile it will be the word with fashion, influencer, ambassador, and one of these ones, or influencer or ambassador, and a New York C, New York, or New York. Cool, now it's telling me, ID it's going to use 60 trons to get this data of the usernames, okay? So I'm going to click on search, and now it's actually searching the users, okay? And basically what I can do, I can also give it a tag, Okay, let's say I want on a tag for me, so I can write fashion, and all of these users will be with this tag of fashion, for example. Uh, for what you can use this tag, if you're going to do multiple search, and multiple scraping purposes, so you won't confuse, you know, between the different uh, data. Okay, so it's already fine for me, 1,041, you see it's like searching, and I went into like 67%, it didn't show me where I'm reaching now, and it's going to finish very, very, very soon, you will see. And cool, it basically finished and I have over here 1,049, uh, 1,496 
a usernames. Now let's say I want to get the data of these usernames. I want to see their followers amount. I want to see their business and uh, business account. What is their bio? Your and most stuff. I click over here and click on Unreach. And basically now what um, Litron is going to do, Litron is going uh, to scrape and to find all of the data of all of these usernames. As you can say, gives them the type of fashion. And it's also going to tell me how many emails it's found. Let's say I want to do email marketing for them. And also how many phone numbers. It's going to take a few minutes, maybe one or two. Depends, of course, how much data you have here. So let's wait and it will sit in a sec. Cool. And now as you can see, it showed me it's complete and I have all of these usernames info. Okay. So basically, uh, now if I want, I can go to export. Um, I can go to a new search and go to all of these usernames. And I can export all of the data uh, into CSV if I want. But let's say before that, I want to scrape more information. I want to make sure I'm going to get the best influencers ever. So I'm going over here to my contacts. Okay. And I'm going to edit the tag of these users I just scraped. The tag I used, if you remember, was fashion. Okay. And um, right. Fashion. Okay. Cool. Um, and basically, um, now I, I uncheck this box. Let's say I want all of these pieces of tag. I click on search and it's going to show me all of the 1,462 contacts. Okay. I have the username. I can click and I can go into their oops, link and um, have a look over here. So this is one ambassador. So as you can see, she's hungry. She's tired. <laughs> okay. Um, cool. And I can see how many posts she has and how many followers following what her username and name, her bio data, link on her bio and email. Over here, we don't have the phone because she didn't make her phone public. But of course, over here, for example, we do have the phone. So let's say I want to get influencers or ambassadors with at least, um, I don't know, 1,000 followers. If they don't have at least 1,000 1, followers, I will, I'm going to skip them. I click on search and have a look I have over there. I can also make sure to have maximum amount of uh, folders if I want, like let's say 100,000. Okay. And it's filtered all this list. Now, uh, let's say I want to make sure the bio. So I want to make sure they are like only from the United States states, okay, cities and place in the United States. So I can actually choose this filter over here on the bio. I can click on search. And have a look, I get 62 contacts that for sure have on their bio any kind of like cities or state in the United States. Florida, as you can see over here, um, and New York and so on. Okay. Now, keep in mind that many, many of the users on Instagram are actually are not sharing their current location. Maybe they're like traveling the world. So originally they're like from the United States, but maybe now, I don't know, they're in Europe. And so keep this in your mind. And also you can make sure they have any kind of different word on their bio. Let's say I want to make sure they have, I don't know, the word of like dress in, in their bio. I can write dress and search. I mean, <laughs> seven contacts, okay? So this is also, you can filter it by any word you want to have on the bio. And I can filter them by link if I want to have specific link. If I want, for example, only to have like YouTube links, so I can also do that as you can see over here. And um, for example, YouTube, okay, so I guess I can make sure you have like YouTube links and you can see YouTube links and I can make sure I get their info as well. And I can also filter by names if I want. So let's say I want to get um, Western of only females or only males that I don't want. Um, I want only females, for example, I can also do this kind of search and it will filter by the name. It can take a few seconds as you can see over here, it depends how much data it needs to um, filter. But of course, it can definitely, definitely be worth it. Sorry. And yes, as you can see, it's behind 33 contacts. It's fine with like US names like Amanda, Tanya, Maria. And it's like, no, sorry, it's not US names. Um, it's actually like just female names. And of course, you can also uh, even scrape them and filter them by the, the uh, country code. Okay, so for example, if we speak about United States, um, it starts like with plus one, so you can see, I can make sure like they have like plus one and then it will find me only usernames with plus one 
on their Instagram. So that's also like a way to get on specific countries uh, users. Keep in mind that it's not always again going to work well for you because many, many users are not sharing their a phone for the public, right? So it's not always going to work, but that's also a good uh, option to filter. As you can see, it's finally about 28. Now check them out. I just want to show the quality of the users because the quality over here, it's pretty cool. You can see 6,000 followers. She's a digital creator. She's from uh, from New York, as you can see over here. And I can go to this girl and like that. So let's say I have all of this data. Let's say I want to get all of this data. Um, I can click on export to CSV and get it. And of course, this is with all of these filters. This, if I want, I can also click on unfilter. Have a look. If I uncheck the names, I just want any users from the United States. I have 160 uh, contacts. Export to CSV. And I'm going to get all of this data as a CSV file. I can upload it to the cloud. I can even sell this data if I want. Okay. Uh, of course, it's like that. I can make it a bit more organized. Sorry. So you can see it over here. So you can see the followers amount, the following, and all of the information you need, uh, the public info, and so on. And um, so this is basically how it works. It's very, 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 very cool. I must say, as someone who are using Jarvi and a lot of broadcasting tools, is that you don't need to pay for proxies or for scrapers or for any other expenses. You pay for these two. Now, if you probably ask yourself like how much it costs, so I'm going to show you. By the way, uh, you can also make sure to uh, use, if you want to only verified account, you can also filter by that. Only business or account who has emails. If you want only the emails, you can also do that and get accounts with emails only. Um, as for pricing, so basically you have two options. Uh, you have subscription and you have bundles. So we start with like 3,000 3, trunks. It's up with 59. Again, when you're going to register, you're going to get for free 2,000 uh, trons to just try the tool and to see how it works. As much as you're going to need more and more data, you need to pay more, but it's actually pretty cool. You have also like bundles if you want only one time for like one project. Uh, and of course, I have a discount for you guys. Um, I know the owners of this tool, very, very, very talented uh, people and team behind it. So highly recommend, uh, as you can see. And basically, if you're going to use this Jot form over here, uh, you have discounted price. Okay, you can put your videos over here and you can choose the package you want. And basically, you get very, very nice discount. It's not like to pay 120, it's like 79 dollars, so 149, and so on. And so, of course, before you purchase, just try that. Okay, you don't need to purchase anything before you try and you see how it works for you. And just a short summarize about the use case of that. And I actually forgot to show you one more cool thing over here is that basically you can click on find new contacts and let's say you have folders that you script for another resource, I don't know, or you have it already. You can also browse and add any a file with usernames. And then this tool is going to unreach this data and show you all of the information you need. So this is also like a cool feature over here. Um, and just to summarize how you can make money with that, <laughs> because I'm guessing this is why you're watching this video, just a small guess. So scrape users to engage with, for example, with Jarvi, you can take this data and insert it in Jarvi or manually. Scrape users to send mass VMs, mass amount of VMs, manually VMs. You can scrape phones and emails, okay? Again, of, a, of accounts like a business account, which has this, uh, which have this information publicly, everything is public. Uh, so to do email outreach, to do WhatsApp outreach, to do cold calls, Facebook or Instagram ads as well. And of course, you can sell this data. You can get this data and you can sell it to other people in the world who need this data. Let's say I want only data of like B2B market, I don't know, only social media companies or only construction companies, whatever you like. You can use this tool. I'm guessing there are more cool stuff. I forget to mention, <laughs> but this is like the main, main things. So we try this out. Very, very cool. I will put also the link over here so you can click and test it with the 2000 trons. Again, the first uh, 2,000 trons is for free. You don't need to pay and you don't need to put your credit card or anything at all. That's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching uh, this tool. Hope you're going to scrape a lot of data and to make a lot of money and have a great, great day. Bye-bye.